if I can get it, it's really tricky. Well, they showed in the trailer, it's really difficult to do, but if you jump and dash into his eye, there we go. Yes, we got it. You can actually knock him out of it. They showed that in the Zhao trailer. I just wanted to show you guys how cool it was. What's up, Sushi Squad? We back in for some more Genshin Impact. Today, talking about my Zhao build and how you're going to end up building this character. I want you to keep in mind, I don't care about the meta in this game. So if you're somebody that cares about the meta, there are other channels that overanalyze and put all of the different best team comps together and everything like that. Not to say that I don't know what the meta is. It's just that I don't really care about Bennett and having him in my party or using food items or anything like that. So what you see is what you get with me. You're just going to see the base number value of this is how powerful and you can end up making Zhao based on the, you know, RNG gods giving you better artifacts than me, if not similar to me. So just to show you guys a quick example, uh, my attributes are actually pretty good. Uh, his crit rate on Zhao is going to naturally be very, very high because as you ascend this character, he's going to actually level up his crit rate. So you can end up having quite a bit just base without even having any artifacts or anything like that. So it's very, very easy to get him over that 50% threshold. But honestly speaking, you want to be sitting around like maybe 50, 60%. Most of all, though, the point is that you can sacrifice crit rate for the sake of having more crit damage. And that is the important thing, which is absolutely beautiful about this character and can end up being quite brutal. Um, for those of you that, you know, don't care about every single little detail, uh, this is my weapon. I'm using Crescent Pike. I'll explain more later. And then for the artifacts, I'm just using two Animo, two uh, Gladiator, just because of the different bonuses that those give. Uh, I can end up going into more detail about his constellations, his talents, uh, and the characters that you can end up using to make him even stronger. But we'll get into that in a bit. First of all, let's give you guys a quick little example of the gameplay because you want to see the showcase. You want to see how much damage we end up doing with him, right? So first of all, he can dash in midair. He will also dash on the ground. It's really, really nice. It's really handy. It's really fun. That's why I went for his Constellation 1. That's all I have. I don't have a C2 or anything like that. Zhao also will not take any damage from plunging attack, no matter how high he is. Other characters don't really die from plunging damage, but they will take a very minuscule amount of health down when they do their plunges. The difference with Zhao, though, is the higher you are, the stronger your plunge attack is going to be. That was pretty pathetic. I can usually end up getting 10k if I end up getting a crit. Uh, your dash abilities, as you can see here, I'm doing 16 to 18k. The reason for that uh, is because they actually have a part of his passive where it's like as you end up tagging an enemy, you end up gaining stacks with your dashes. So it pays to actually dash slower rather than quicker just because of the fact that while you're dashing, uh, you know, you have seven seconds to end up refreshing the stack and end up increasing the amount of damage that you do from your dashes. So you don't want to just bang, 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 pump them all out because then you're waiting on your cooldown and you might be, uh, you know, you might be struggling with the 10 second cooldown of his dash ability versus the seven seconds of uh, the buff that you're slowly getting, right? Uh, so anyways, let's move on to another enemy here. What has actually detected me? I don't know. Let me move on to another enemy here so I can just show you guys my uh, ultimate ability with Zhao because it's very, very weird. Like, I, he's a very weird character. His ultimate ability, though the animation of him putting his mask on and everything like that is really badass, the gameplay of his ult is kind of lame because you're literally just jumping like Mario and doing plunge attacks over and over, which I will show you currently. So you put on your ult and this is his ultimate ability. And you can see the amount of damage, you know, it's varying because my crits aren't super duper uh, high up there. Not to mention these guys, I think, are a little resistant. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, no, I know what's going on. It's because I don't have my... I'm used to having my Geo Shield on, which with two Geo characters in my party ends up uh, making me do more damage. Not to mention my Zhongli Shield in general just ends up being really, really good. Um, but anyways, so... You know 16k i mean that's still good just base on his own right obviously i don't have absolutely cracked artifacts or anything like that on this character uh the spear i would very much have liked to use the four star spear that was in the shop last month i didn't buy it because i didn't have any star glitter it, it was in the star glitter shop so it pays to keep an eye out for it star glitter there it is 
Um, I forget what the spear is called, but there is a spear where the secondary stat is actually crit damage. And the thing is, like I said again, you can go ahead and just go all crit damage. Like the thing is, I'm not using a crit rate uh, spear and I am not using a crit rate hat either. And we still end up having over 50% for our crit rate, which is pretty nuts, dude. That means that we could just be rocking a full crit damage spear and it would be probably over 200% for his crit damage, which is pretty insane uh so anyways let's get into the actual build talking about the uh weapon the artifacts and stuff like that i'm using crescent pike just because i don't really have a better alternative if you are super duper struggling with your crit rate you could be using the battle pass spear which is deathmatch which i'm using it on my zhongli just because my build is very strange and weird and my zhongli in general needs the crit rate weapon uh Zhao doesn't really need it because if I'm rocking this, I'm somewhere around like 90% for my crit rate. So I would rather just take the physical damage of the pike. Uh, the weird side ability that the pike ends up doing is it will actually, uh, as you can see, normal and charged attacks deal additional damage equal to 35% uh, of attack for five seconds. Now, the weird thing is the way that that's translated is very strange because basically what's going to happen is you'll hit an enemy and a second damage number will go off that's going to be 35 percent of your damage uh 35 because i have it at refinement rank four so it's going to be considerably lower if you only just have one uh crescent pike without any refinement but anyways change the numbers around same effect right the point is that that separate damage number that the weapon is triggering can actually trigger on your crit rate. So potentially your crit rate can trigger um, with the spears damage, upping the damage to a total of 100% of your damage, if not over that, which means essentially you're doing twice as much damage just with your normal attacks, right? So that can end up being pretty good. Uh, otherwise, you might want to use an energy recharge spear just because of the fact that you're going to end up using your ult way more. Uh, this one can end up being really good as well. Lots of people underestimate the dragon spine spear, but I think this one could be really good for Zhao just because of the fact that uh, it has a uh, hitting an opponent with a normal and charge attack has a 60% chance of forming and dropping an Everfrost Icicle above them, dealing AoE damage equal to 80% of your attack. Um, I'm assuming that that's going to apply cryo to the enemy. The point being is that because Zhao is going to end up being an Animo character, it means that no matter what element is on an enemy, when you end up attacking it with Animo damage, it's going to cause Swirl as the, um, you know, elemental reaction and what swirl is going to do is kind of do a uh kind of a circle around the enemy that ends up getting tagged so let's just say you tag an enemy with pyro and then you hit it with animo it's going to trigger swirl and it's going to end up doing a little bit more damage just because swirl itself isn't going to end up being the strongest reaction in the entire game uh, but basically what it's going to do is tag all the enemies around and give them a debuff to pyro resistance and that's going to apply to whatever element triggers with the swirl you know, it could be cryo, it could be electric, whatever. The point is, Swirl can end up being extremely powerful when paired up with a good team comp of characters that are going to benefit from that resistance being lowered, right? So, if you're fighting like a Fatui agent or assassin, whatever you want to call them, maybe you want to end up applying the buff to Pyro just because those guys naturally have a Pyro resistance, but... I don't know. Anyways, whatever. Uh, let's get into the artifacts. So the artifacts that I'm rocking again is a 2-2 two -two set. So that's going to be two of the Animo, two of the Gladiator. Uh, you can see this actually is a fantastic flower. Everything rolled into crit damage. That's the highest crit damage that I've seen on any of my gear. Other people I've seen have actually had crit damage higher, which is pretty insane. Uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, the Elemental Mastery can end up being really good on Zhao. It's not a stat you got to absolutely ignore. Defense can end up being okay as well, just because it does scale with him a little bit we'll talk about that when we get to his talents which there's gonna be timestamps in the description and everything like that but anyways the stats you want to kind of avoid with him is i guess hp i mean he's gonna be really really squishy because his alt is slowly draining his health making him more and more vulnerable but you're gonna be up in the air during a lot of your attacks and the uh, you know, the plunge attacks of Zhao actually have a lot of stun factor, you know, stun value. So a lot of enemies aren't going to continue their attack because they're going to be constantly stunned by your 
ultimate ability plunging attacks so it, it, i don't know it's up to you what stat you want to end up absolutely ignoring but i'd say just build him standard dps build go towards crit rate crit damage uh attack damage attack percent as much as you can and leave nothing for the rest uh, if anything go for uh, energy recharge just because it means more ultimate ability uh so here's a gladiator one which again rolled pretty good outside of the defense rolls but whatever i'll take the attack percent and then the goblet is almost always going to end up being the odd one out because you have to go for the actual like the bonus of the elemental damage goblets are the only thing that can end up having a full-on elemental damage so you'll see a lot of my characters just using random ones for the sake of having that bonus and this is no exception because animo is going to be what Zhao scales off of so you're going to do a lot more damage with an animo build versus if you're trying to go for some weird physical build the physical build will be okay for his normal spear attacks but the fact is that his dash ability and his ultimate ability is all animo damage so I don't know. I mean, if you have to choose an alternative to the Animo damage, go for attack percent if you can uh, until you end up getting an Animo Goblet. And hopefully you end up getting it to either be the Animo set uh, or Gladiator set and end up rolling perfect for you because good God. Uh, and then last but not least, again, you can go for a crit damage hat because of the fact that he's naturally going to have so much crit rate. And this one's okay. I don't like the HP. I don't like the elemental mastery as much. The crit rate on it, okay, I'll take it. Energy recharge, sure. But I wish that this would have rolled a little bit better. But beggars can't be choosers when it comes to a uh, hat that actually has the stat that you want. Uh, so anyways, moving on to his constellation. I'm not going to get too into this. I just want to let you know that if you're going for any of them, his constellation one is probably the best just because it's going to give you a third charge to your dashes, which is a whole lot of fun for exploration it is going to end up helping you out as far as damage is concerned but honestly speaking i recommend just getting it just because his dash abilities are so fun uh his constellation 2 doesn't interest me at the slightest obviously if you're getting super duper into the meta maybe okay that's something that you'd be interested in because basically while you are using other characters and zhao is just sitting in your pocket or off the field you're gonna have 25 percent energy recharge so you would basically pop him out for his ult put him back into storage which doesn't really interest me as far as the gameplay is concerned and then of course the rest of them are gonna be stronger and stronger attacks here's where he scales off of defense if you actually have his c4 then defense isn't as bad uh he gains more and more defense as uh you end up having his hp fall below 50 percent which okay whatever i mean if you have a healer in your team that's not gonna be a problem anyway so it's kind of useless uh and then this is going to be absolutely cracked if you actually are a cash whale but if you're free to play this doesn't concern you i just want to mention it just because i think it's really cool so basically this is going to make it so that if there's two enemies in his plunging attack uh radius when you use your ultimate abilities plunging attack uh it's going to actually refresh the cooldown of your dash abilities and for one whole second you can just dash 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 to your heart's content without wasting any of your cooldown which makes him absolutely destroy because you are more than likely going to always have two enemies that you're going to be able to attack so anyways let's talk about his talents real quick basic attacks who cares whatever obviously his plunging attacks are going to be really really good but you can only really utilize that when you are using his ultimate ability his dash is going to be really nice again you can dash in the air or dash on the ground normally there's only two charges i have three because i have his constellation and then his ultimate ability is going to give you the mario jump uh extended area of effect even just with his normal attacks his normal attacks uh, will actually turn to animo damage so every attack that you do is going to be animo damage whether it be your normal attacks or plunging damage so cool converts attack damage into animo damage which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion <laughs> okay cool whatever um in this state Zhao will continuously lose hp the effect of this skill will end when Zhao leaves the field so kind of the same as razor if you pop him out use his ult swap characters you just wasted his ult yeah so then we've got while under the effect of the ult all damage by Zhao uh, increases by five percent damage increases by further five percent for every three seconds the ability persists to a maximum of 25 percent so keep him out until his ult is fully expunged so that you end up getting that 25 percent extra damage so he's going to perpetually do more and more damage the longer you're in your ult uh, and then using this is the dash that i talked about earlier so using his dash increases the damage of uh, further dash ability uh, and just call it that because i don't want to say lemniscatic wind sight anyways it increases the damage of following dashes by 15 percent this effect lasts for seven seconds and has a maximum of three stacks 
gaining a new stack refreshes the effects duration. So that's why you want to be very, very methodical. Only really cast another dash when you have a seven second cooldown to spare just so that you can always end up timing your dashes because otherwise you are going to run out of dashes before the cooldown ends up uh, you know coming around and then you just yeah uh so for party team comp what i use is a weirdo team uh obviously because zhang li is just like my main character i don't want to i don't want to throw him under the bus uh i use geo resonance so that's going to be two geo characters which is going to give you more damage while you have a shield around you plus zhang li just in general is going to end up giving you additional damage while you have a shield around you so that's what i do uh, and then i go for two animo because why not go for the buff and i need a healer if you want to change it up though you could use a healer like bennett it's probably going to be your best bet just because you're going to have the extra damage. Uh, and then you could sync that up with maybe two Animo, two fire characters. You could use Bennett for a healer uh, and then whatever other fire character you want. Uh, maybe somebody that gives a barrier like Zin Yan or something. I, I don't know. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then I would recommend for dual Animo characters if you want. You can use either Zhao Jin or Zhao Venti could end up being really good. Obviously, you're not going to have that much elemental synergy between Venti and Zhao, but the fact that you can pull all the enemies in and then just do your grand slam uh, attack with his plunges could end up being really, really fun and really, really nice. But anyways, you can end up getting into all of that if you want uh, to end up getting into the meta and figuring it out for yourselves, because otherwise that's going to do it. Thanks you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to do more videos on my characters as I slowly end up building them and stuff. And like I said, I'm not trying to show you guys, this is the perfect build. You have to do this or anything. But this is just kind of the base standard build that everybody uses. Uh, and I just play this game for fun, most of all. And so that's where, you know, this is a good way that I can end up showing you guys what my artifacts are, how I built the character and stuff like that. So that hopefully it helps you out if you are like me and you don't really care about learning every little intricate detail about how the status numbers end up working and everything like that. I mean, for the most part, I still test it all out and try it all out myself. So these are learned experiences uh and then uh, again if you are cash whale last but not least the banner that's going on right now is going to be the best weapon for zhao as usual the weapon banner is always the best weapon for the character but that requires a five star spear which yeah thanks for watching gamers smash like sub for more buy the merch you want to support the channel have a great day sign on stay epic everybody